Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment of On the Bench. Uh, today I'm going to bring you up uh, a little pattern here that is very simplistic. It's a damsel nymph. It looks pretty bushy and disorganized on the on the vise here right now. You've probably seen a lot nicer looking bugs in the fly bins or online, different pictures. But I'll tell you this fly does work. It's uh, got the great materials. And one thing I want to uh, emphasize with a lot of you tires that we neglect to look at a lot of times is how these flies change when they're in the water and the use of our materials. So here's the dry version you see on the vise right now. This one's just been tied. So what I always like to do with all my flies is see how they work, how they act in the water as far as weight, if they're undulating the way I want or not or whatever, or how these materials look when wet. So here's this fly here. I just soaked it and you'll see how it, it's slendered right up. It's got a total different color. Uh, them the dry version of it here of course it's it's a great color in the water I, I just love this fly the, the fish do too it looks very real it's simple to tie it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles on it shell backs I used to tie a lot of flies with shell backs and that'll look a lot nicer when you're you're you know you're selling them in the fly bins and uh, so forth but if you want to go out and catch a lot of fish when the damsels are on this little fly right here is going to get the job done for you. The materials are, are really the key on this one. And uh, let's go over the materials where we're talking about it. We, I'm going to tie this with the, uh, the size 10 continuous curve hook. Just to give it a little bit of a, a, sh a shape to the body. I'm going to be using some uh, small mono eyes. An olive color. I'm going to be using some 6 thought olive thread to tie with. The tail I'm just going to be using some uh, basically the color I'm looking for is kind of a golden olive uh, hackle for tails. And the secret to this bug right here is the Arizona synthetic dubbing. This is the golden peacock color from John Romer. He's, uh, this is a very short fiber. Uh, it's, it's hard to work with if you don't have a rotary vise like I'm using you'll want to use a dubbing loop and uh, it's, it's critical because that will give you the, uh, ir the iridescence uh, of this fly when it's in the water when it's working. You want that buggy texture so let's get a hook in the vise but like I said here's dry it doesn't look like much uh, but if you get a wet it, it imitates the natural very very well so Make sure you use water. A lot of times, test your flies. I've, I've had so many flies that look, boy, they look great on the vise, and you get them, get them to the lake or the river or whatever, and they just don't behave right. They don't look, they're not the color you want. They're, uh, they change color so much when you get it wet, of course, and the different materials all have different uh, characteristics. So it's important we follow recipes and use the materials the, uh, the creator is, is showing. Uh, we don't want to be using hair dub, hair line dubbing or like hair dub for dry flies, for example. They just soak up the water. So you want to be using some thin, thin synthetics or whatever it may be. So that's pretty pretty important. And a little blender, you can, you know, if you don't have the colors, you can always get a little coffee bean grinder like that. Buy them pretty cheap at a garage sale or whatever you want to do, and you can. You can blend some of your own dubbing you have at home if you don't have the right colors. You can get the color you want, but make sure you test your flies. Best time to do it is right at home when you're test driving, uh, you're tying, and make sure they're good. So I'm going to take a generous clump with my hackle from my tail. I'll just wrap down the butts there. Trim off any little excess. Oh yes, another important part is we want some extra small wire. I'm using silver. You really 
the, the, the color I don't think is going to matter a whole lot. We don't see too much of the wire, but it does give us some segmentation that you definitely want to have on your damsels. I'll tie that on, get my wire out of the way, put a half hitch in here. Now, for those of you that don't have the spinning vices, uh, go with a dubbing loop here. This dubbing is probably not the easiest dubbing to use because it's so short. It's very short little fibers and it's uh, hard to dub. So I'm just going to take some time here. I've got to get it started. Get Once it starts grabbing, it'll roll around on you. It doesn't take real good. Don't get disappointed. This is important. We, we use this dubbing because it's got all the characteristics that I want and it looks really, really good in the water. But you can see it's 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 not a lot of fun to work with. You can see it's uh, falling off my uh, thread. A little clumpy, so I'm going to take and throw it a little bit in my blender, now just to demonstrate this. Now when it comes out of the, the factories or where they're creating this dubbing. It gets compacted in these bags. Just throw it in and fluff it up in your blender. You can do that on so many of your dubbings and that is really critical. And you're going to find out that that changes the concept of everything right pretty easy. Now it's, now it's going to apply to my thread a lot easier and it's going to stay so we come in here, we taper the body forward, and you'll see how buggy that's going on. And then the eye, instead of all of the fancy um, shell backs and so forth, which really look cool, that's all I do is I take a figure eight by the eyes. I'll just come in here with my ribbing right to the eye of the hook. And if some of this is loose, it's just sitting in there. Can you see how nice and buggy that is? That looks really, really good. Make sure your hook is clean. Get your whip finish in here. And that is about as simple a damsel fly as you can tie right there. Uh, I, I like the, the way it works, looks in the water. It's, as soon as I've seen this fly in the water, that's where I'm, I'm staying with my damsel flies for sure. It, is, it doesn't stay buggy like that when it gets wet. I'll show you. I'm going to dip this one in the water and just show you how it looks. So I'll just take my little brush. That'll get in rid of any loose fibers. And kind of brush it back, preen it back a little bit. And that's it. Where's my little tray of water? I'll just dump that in here for you. Get it wet. And there it is when it's, that to me looks about as close to a damsel as you want to get. If you want to create a swimming damsel, you can bend your shank a little bit. You can actually get the swimming shanks too. But this, this fly here um, fishes really well just like that. I don't want any weight on it. I don't want it to undulate too much because really the damsel doesn't undulate up and down. It swims sideways and it's really Wriggling sideways is something we haven't, I, I haven't seen any flies that will do that. Uh, so you want to use a clear intermediate line is the way I fish this. A uh, very slow little, uh, uh, little two inch, three inch, four inch maybe jerky little movements, but slow. These, and uh, these fish will pick these up. They're looking for damsel nymphs and that's a good coloration for you. So um, we thank you again for uh, catching us on sport fishing on the fly. Um, it's a great pattern for you. Uh, hope to see you guys in the water. Enjoy your fly tying over the winter. We got a long winter hit, uh, season ahead of us up here in Canada, so um, all the best. And make sure you go online, join our uh, membership base there too. You get lots of TV shows. There's 25 years of them. You can watch TV shows as long as you like for all different species, and all these tying videos will be on there for you too. So thanks for watching, and thanks again to all our sponsors.